Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will break down for you the exact path that you have to take from knowing nothing to having pro level data science skills. So make sure you stay up till the end and also I want you to get a pen and paper so that you can note down the ton of value that you can take away from this video. So let's get started. So we will start with basic foundational tech skills. So the first one is Excel. Since many companies are going for Microsoft product, Excel has become a must. Don't directly go for data cleaning and analysis in Excel, but cover concepts like basic Excel interface to knowing how to insert rows and columns, basic formulas to intermediate concepts like text, date functions and text functions, find and replace option, advanced concepts that may include sorting, filtering, lookup and even more advanced features like reference operators that includes AND and OR also learn conditional formatting. Now comes the second tech skill which is Google Sheets. Because many companies are moving towards Google based product, you shouldn't also be back in the game. So whatever you have learned in Excel, learn those exact things in Google Sheets as well. Plus something that you have to add here is charts, pivot table, if statement and collaborating on Google Sheets. On Google Sheets. Collaborating basically means how multiple people can work on a single Google Sheet at the same time. After spreadsheets comes Python basics. For anyone starting out, I'll recommend Python rather than R. Again here, don't directly jump for Python for data science. Simply start with the basics of Python. What this will include is printing in Python to different Python data types. Functions and methods that is associated with each of the data types should be done in detail. Then learn intermediate concepts like if statement, for loops, while loops and advanced concepts like user defined functions and managing files in Python. Also don't miss object oriented programming in Python. A quick note here is that learn Python in Jupyter Notebook. If you're wondering what Jupyter Notebook is, it is basically a, a free web application which is used for data analytics and data science. It is specially for beginner data scientists as it is very beginner friendly. After you finish Python, you have to do a small tiny project where you will use the basic Python you have learned and that will make up your project number one. Before we move on to the next skill, I want you to tell that this roadmap is designed in such a way that after every tech learning, you will have a theoretical learning, which basically means alternate tech and theory. So the next is machine learning foundation and which is mathematics and statistics. Now again, don't make the most common mistake of starting with machine learning maths like principal component, eigenvectors. No, not at all. Start with basic maths. So first we have linear algebra wherein you learn to solve equations, you learn about vectors and matrices and then comes calculus where you cover continuity, differentiation and integration. After which comes statistics. Here the first is descriptive statistic. As the name it is used to describe the data and it will involve learning to visualize data, aggregate data and check for variation in your data. Next is inferential stat which is making inference about a population using a sample. Here you have to just understand the concept of probability, learn what normal distribution is, some of its characteristics and learn what parametric tests are. That's more than enough to get you started. Now after some theory is some intermediate tech learning of which first one is SQL. SQL is basically where you store your data, where you store it table. Here go for intermediate level skills. Start with creating database tables and inserting values in them. Go to learn select statement and conditional statement. Conditional statement is where clause. Following this is case statement and aggregation which will involve the group by and the order by clause. Next is some more high level stuff like importing and exporting files, joining multiple tables, creating unions and whichever database you might be learning be it MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle learn the special features and function of that tool. Then go on to learn some more advanced features like creating views, creating functions and finally learn to connect Python to SQL. The second intermediate skill that I want you to learn is statistics with Excel. 
you already know statistics you already know excel let's combine the two now here what you have to learn is all the features of excel that is related to data and data analysis which includes creating excel charts pivot tables pivot chart slicers and timers and the most important basic aggregations of data and all the tools that are present within the data tab of excel now what i want you to do after this is using excel and sql knowledge that you have gained build a small data related project where you do some basic data analysis which will make up your project number two after this comes a not so important tool and a break from tech and pure learning which is learning github now this is going to be serving as your portfolio where all your projects will be living what is to be learned here is how to create an account on github create a repository on github repository basically means a file or a folder where all your project files and codes will be living then also learn to push your code and project file inside this repository learn to add commits that is how to upload the changes that you have done to the already uploaded project file and learn to clone files that is copy other people's code files finally comes learn how to collaborate on github that is how multiple people can work together on a single project but this one is not needed at the beginning now let's continue further with machine learning prep using python that comes learning some data science specific tech what is included over here is some python libraries that is needed for data science they are numpy for aggregation pandas for data import and export and also for cleaning matplotlib or seaborn library for visualization then learn regular expression that is regex library again used for data cleaning majorly then learn scipy which is for high level mathematics and finally beautiful soup or selenium used for web scraping that is pulling data from website now one thing i would recommend is that you learn this libraries in the order that i have specified this was the order of importance after learning these libraries it's time for hackathon number one which is more like a self challenge where you have to make an intermediate level data analysis project start with web scraping some data from website using beautiful soup libraries then use pandas and regex to clean that data and then do some aggregations and statistics using numpy and scipy library and visualize your data using matplotlib or seaborn and finally i want you to upload this entire project file on github and that will complete your hackathon number 1 before we go ahead to the second and the most important part of the data science journey i wanted to ask you something are you liking this video and finding this video any helpful if yes then i want you to hit the like button and help me as well in growing this channel so coming back as soon as this intermediate project is ready you can take a break of a day or two but on these days you can't take complete rest because i have three tasks for you to do it's called the pre job prep which means prepping for jobs even before you start applying the tasks that are included in this starts with number 1 upload all the projects that you have made till now on github then make a resume now wherein you have to include all the skills that you have learned by then also add a project section on your resume where you write two to three lines about your project and also provide a github links to each of the project If you need help in creating a resume then you can check out this video on my channel where I guide you on that. Simultaneously also create a LinkedIn profile and upload your resume there on LinkedIn in the featured section. And from then onwards try posting every week some tiny learnings about data science and sneak peeks of your project as LinkedIn posts. Start sending connection requests to people having experience in the data field. It could be HR, CEOs of tech and data science companies or even people working as data scientists. Now from here we are going to be jump starting with machine learning. First you have to learn regression which will include learning five different techniques. You have to learn the basic math and theory behind each of these algorithms first. So first one is simple linear regression, next one multiple linear regression, followed by polynomial regression and a more optimized optimized version of the three called ridge regression and lasso regression. 
after you finish learning the models learn how to evaluate the goodness of a regression model once you know all the theory and the math behind the regression model i want you to learn to fit that model in python after this give yourself a break from core learning make a small project you get some data from kagel and then use some basic data science python libraries on it and then fit all the five regression models and evaluate and choose the best among them this will make up your project number 4 coming back to the machine learning now comes learning some classification algorithms this includes logistic regression k nearest neighbors decision trees random forest naive bayes support vector machine and also learn to evaluate the goodness of classification model then learn to fit those model in pipe and like we did for regression make a small tiny project where you fit a classification model on data set and this will make your project number 5 similarly after classification learn some few clustering models they include k means clustering hierarchical clustering agglomerative clustering after which learn how to evaluate goodness of such clustering model and then learn to fit such models in python following that will be a small project of fitting a clustering model now to give yourself a break from a lot of maths a lot of programming i want you to learn a dashboarding tool this could be either tableau or power bi or even google data studio now this is in the most necessary in data science skills but it's going to be an add on because many companies nowadays are expecting dashboarding skills as well from data scientists what topics to be covered here is learning to connect to multiple data sources creating charts followed by creating dashboards in that tool learn all of these learn some intermediate concepts like designing dashboard making your dashboard to look attractive learn how to create a dashboard which is interactive that is basically you have filters parameters and stuff and also learn to publish the dashboard online further come some advanced concepts learn to create dashboard in multiple layouts like mobile tablet pc and lastly learn the most advanced features of the specific dashboarding tool that you are learning while you are learning the dashboarding tool it's time for hackathon number 2 that is make a advanced level project where you start from getting data to cleaning it to aggregating it to visualizing it to fitting models and and finally when you have finished learning the dashboarding tool build the dashboard of your data analysis to show as your report now you are all set up to get started as a data scientist as you have the right skill and excellent portfolio already set up so here i want you to take a break a break wherein you start prepping for the job search it's going to start with updating your resume with all the new skills that you have gained updating all your projects that you had made on linkedin choosing the option open to work on linkedin to let people know that you are looking for job then start applying for data science job and internship on linkedin also ask your connections for references if they have any simply start applying for data job data science job on multiple job portals and while you do all of this start preparing for data science interview Once you get that job then you go to the advanced section learning of data science this is going to include you learning time series analysis deep learning machine learning deployment and big data further is computer vision and the list is going to go on and on and on and remember one thing in data science you will always be learning something new there's never going to be an end to your learning now i know you might be wondering where the hell can i learn all these skills that she's talking about for free and don't you worry at all because soon i will be uploading a video on the best free resources to learn data science skills so all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell icon you get an update when i upload that video so that's it is this video gave you any amount of clarity then help me by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel see you in the next video